Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your August reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Don't forget about my new Vimeo channel. The link for that is below in the descriptions box and there you will find an extension of this reading. Now let's have a look at your oracle cards for August here Sagittarius because from House of Night you've pulled the card off Forbidden. Now this indicates a situation that will not be easy and could cause you or others pain or perhaps both. Now the card speaks about not all relationships being good for you and not all love is expressed or desires realized. So it seems that there may be a level of, I feel like you may have entered into something here Sagittarius which is not for your it's not for your greater good and the energy I pick up with this card is that it may be a sign to move on and choose another path from the angels deck you've pulled the card of joy now this card speaks about needing to find that happiness again I feel Sagittarius here that you may have felt trapped or even victimized in a situation here and there's a need here to ease your burdens and focus on being happy again get that joy back in your life and from the house of Ganesha deck as your overall energy you've pulled the card of achievement now this card speaks about success and prosperity and abundance so I feel for you Sagittarius it's very much an energy here of being focused on getting that success in your life having the the comfort and security around you and feeling like you have achieved so let's see where this goes Sagittarius because I get an energy here that you may have gotten involved in a situation with with a, perhaps a partner or a, a group of people here that were not not in your best interests is the energy I'm picking up and it's left you feeling quite unhappy so let's have a look at your overall energy here Sagittarius so this is great news for you because I feel at the present time you have what you need around you to get that achievement in your life that success that abundance that prosperity you have the intellect the skills the talents to achieve your goals here very much a sign here that you have what it takes to be successful and to bring about positive change here and, and make things happen is the, is the energy I'm picking up now let's pull out a clarifier on that magician card okay well there you are the queen of wands I feel for you this month is all about getting that sense of optimism that confidence back as that confident Sagittarian here being the strong leader independent optimistic and capable here of achieving what you want in life with with passion and humor and and grace as well and with that six of swords it's moving on from a stormy period of your life into a calmer more happier period and I feel that this is what you're wanting to manifest here very much moving on to calm after a storm moving on moving forward perhaps even traveling as well because as Sagittarians we do love to we do love our travel so let's have a look and see what the past energy is for you Sagittarius you have the two of Pentacles in reverse so there is a sense here in the past of you may have bitten off more than you can chew in a situation there's a feeling here of being overwhelmed it may be financial but I'm picking up more so that it's in general I feel that you may have had your hands full with a, a person or a certain situation <coughs> now with the six of pentacles there may have been I feel like you've, you've been kind to someone here in the past Sagittarius that you've shared a lot with someone you've given to this person I feel that very much there's been a sharing of resources but for some reason 
I feel that that it has left you feeling overwhelmed and like you've bitten off more than you can chew. Now let's get some more information on this. Okay, we've got the Hierophant. So it may have been a marriage, a legal commitment or a committed partnership. Some kind of traditional arrangement is what I'm picking up with this Hierophant. It may have been with a Taurus as well because this is the card of the zodiac sign of Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. I feel more for you, Sagittarius, it's about a situation you've entered into in the past here. I feel like your heart was in the right place, you were giving to this person, you are generous, supportive in this traditional arrangement, but there's been a imbalance. Let's get another card. And with the Page of Swords, you may have found out some information here that was harsh but truthful is what I'm picking up. I think you found out a, a truth about this person or this situation and it was quite unexpected, something that you were not, you were not expecting. It may have been a sense of this person not being ready. I feel that energy. But more so I feel with this Page of Swords, it's, it's being vigilant over this person because I feel that you may have found out something that was distressing. But it was the truth because he is in the upright. Now let's have a look in the present energy for you, Sagittarius. And you have the Five of Wands. So there is conflict here around you. I feel that it's internal conflict as well as perhaps fighting with uh, other people or another person. Let's get another card. With the Five of Pentacles, the energy that I'm picking up here is that there's a sense of being left out here or a feeling that there is lack in some way, whether this is financial or in terms of affection as well. But I, I pick it up as feeling that there is a being left behind in some way, not having what you need. That emotional lack is what I'm picking up. And I feel it has caused a lot of conflict within yourself and, and it may have also led to some fights as well with a partner. Let's get another card. I have the Four of Swords, so there may be a break here. Some time to heal. I feel that this this situation with this partner has left you exhausted, tired. I, I get a sense here of someone who is weary from the effort. When you look at this cards, these cards, it, it's very much a sense here of exhaustion after going through a battle. I feel you've battled here with someone else and perhaps even within yourself here. But I get the sense here that, that you're trying to heal. Let's have a look in your future energy here, Sagittarius. The hangman in reverse is your future energy. Now this suggests that there's a feeling here of being at a crossroads, not knowing which way to go, feeling stuck, trapped, and I did get that with that joy card and that you're feeling trapped in, in a situation here and it was an unhappy situation. The card can suggest being hung up on someone that is not returning your affection as well. Let's get another card. What is the hangman in reverse for Sagittarius? And we have the seven of cups. So I, I feel that there's a lot of fantasy around this situation. What I'm picking up here is that there may be some unrealistic expectations. It's an energy here of being stuck in an old pattern 
clinging on to something. It may be someone here that you've clung on to, but they're not. There's an element of fantasy around this because I feel that they may not be returning your affections how you would like them to be. Let's get another card on that Seven of Cups. And with the Nine of Wands in reverse, I feel you've gone through a lot of battles here with this person. And again, I get a sense of being exhausted, tired from the effort, and not willing to continue the fight here, continue the struggle with this person. It's the energy I'm, I'm feeling with, with this one. Mm, it, it's some tough, tough, I, I pick it up as retreat, with, withdrawal from a, a situation here in the future but it, it's something you've clung on to in the past but I'm picking up that you in the future you, you are giving up on this Sagittarius now let's get another card here for your future energy and you have the page of pentacles so there is a, another opportunity around you I feel it's something that is starting out because it's a page it could even be a clean slate as well but it's starting from the ground up here it's laying the foundation laying the groundwork here for something that could be potentially rewarding i'm picking it up as a uh, good news in a, in a practical or material kind of way so you may hear news of an offer it could even be a, a job offer and I feel that there's going to be an opportunity here for you in the future, Sagittarius. And this may be why you are giving up on a situation here where I feel like you've been, you felt like you were stuck. And, and I do get an element of fantasy around this. Now let's have a look in your advice or your best path to follow. So there is opportunity here. There's a brand new opportunity. It, again, it can mean a, uh, a job opportunity or a business venture here, but it could also mean a, a love opportunity that is going to be, offer you that level of prosperity, stability, something that is long-term and could potentially be, it, the potential there is for long-term commitment is the energy I'm picking up here with this Ace of Pentacles. Now let's get a card on your advice or your best path to follow here, Sagittarius. And with the Nine of Swords in reverse, this opportunity may allow you to get out of this nightmare phase that you've been into recently, I feel. There's something that has kept you stuck in a state of mental anguish here, Sagittarius. And I feel that this new opportunity here could be allowing you to let go of stress, worry, perhaps about finances, I get that. And I get it very much as a card of healing. Now let's get another card on your advice here, Sagittarius. And we have the King of Wands in reverse. So <clears throat> here what I'm picking up is that you may be feeling a lack of confidence, a lack of energy here, or a loss of momentum when it comes to taking the lead. Or it could even be this opportunity will allow you to heal from something here which has led to you having a lack of confidence and that you're lacking lacking leadership or someone may have tried to control you as well Sagittarius I picked that up it may have even been a fire sign another fire sign or someone who was acting like the king of wands in reverse who's someone who can be quite uh, uh, quite a tyrant someone who is um, controlling trying to control you is the energy I'm picking up 
but I feel that there's an opportunity here in the future to get out of this situation. That's, that's the energy I'm picking up here for you, Sagittarius. And remember, I'll be pulling out a lot more cards in the extended reading, so I'll go a lot deeper than this general reading. So if this is resonating with you, don't forget to join me there at the end of this reading. The link's below in the description box. Now let's have a look and see what's happening in your environment, Sagittarius. The Ace of Swords. So there is another opportunity around you. There's a decision. I'm picking up as something here that is clear, logical. I feel that this is someone around you, Sagittarius, that is affecting your current energy here where I pick up the, that there is healing. After a period of time where you have felt a lot of struggle and, and you may have even been left out of a situation here, rejected in a, in, in, in a way. And let's have a look and see what this decision is with this Ace of Swords. I have the Sun card. So there's light being shed on this. There's clarity. I feel like there's someone around you, Sagittarius, who is gaining clarity, starting to see something clearly, and making a clear decision. Let's get another card on that Sun card. And with the Two of Wands, they may be choosing between uh, two options here, starting to see the way forward, making plans, getting their uh, stuff together here. But there's an energy of gaining clarity here, and it may also involve travel because we do have the sun and the two of wands here so it may involve an element of travel but I feel more so that it's starting to make plans here because they've gotten some kind of clarity let's get another card on this two of wands and with the ace of cups it's it's a it's a love opportunity it's either new love around you Sagittarius someone coming in with an, a romantic offer here uh, there is love around you or it's a renewal of love with a someone from the past or even your current partner here Sagittarius but I feel that there is light being shed on a situation here and someone's starting to starting to make plans here around you and there is love around you as well Sagittarius a new opportunity or a renewal now let's have a look at your hopes and fears. You have the Justice card in reverse. So I feel, Sagittarius, you may be fearing some unfair treatment here. There's an energy here of not being treated well, imbalance, a sense of injustice. And it could even suggest that you're, you're fearing some kind of bad decision being made around you and with the tower with the justice card in reverse I think you may be fearing the end of a committed partnership a legal commitment here with this tower let's get another card on the tower and with the three of cups I think you may be fearing Sagittarius that a third party or a multiple women kind of dating situation here is going to break up your marriage is the the message that I'm getting here this is what you're fearing Sagittarius wow okay now let's have a look in your outcome you have the knight of cups so there is a romantic offer being made a proposal of some kind someone's coming in now I feel that this is attached to the future energy down here where we have you giving up on something here that you felt trapped in for quite some time. And there is a brand new opportunity here or a clean slate. And with this Knight of Cups it's coming in. Let's, let's get another card on this Knight of Cups. 
Okay, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Now this is all about a time for healing, forgiveness and renewal. So I did pick up on renewal before and moving forward after that there may have been a lot of grief, a lot of sadness in a relationship here, Sagittarius. It's either your current relationship or a relationship from the past. But I feel that this person may be coming in now with a with a spirit of moving on. I get the card here of perhaps trying to put together a relationship that has ended in the past here where there was a lot of sadness about the ending of that relationship Sagittarius now I'm picking up forgiveness maybe from mistakes made in the past from one of you or both of you and with the three of swords in reverse very much a card here of uh, Re uh, sorry, <clears throat> reconciliation maybe after a third party situation is what I'm picking up so there may have been a third party here Sagittarius who came between in between you and your partner from the past and how I feel with this is and remember the energies can go vice versa so if, if this is not resonating as you Sagittarius it, it, it could be the other way around a Sagittarian could be coming in with you for you with this offer but it seems like they want to heal this that they want to they want reconciliation I feel that there is a lot of regret over an ending here and I feel that there's an energy here of healing forgiveness and moving forward and with the strength card it could involve a Leo, but I feel more so it, it involves you drawing on your, your, your courage here, your persistence. There's somebody coming in here, they're being quite brave as well. They're, be, they're being quite brave here in, in coming in, seeking forgiveness, I feel. So we've got some really good energy here in the outcome, Sagittarius. Let's pull one more card on that. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so positive change here. Getting that wheel turning in your favor. And I'll pull one more. Okay, so there's a decision that needs to be made here in the outcome, Sagittarius. I feel like there's an offer coming in. It may be someone from the past and there's a lot of regret over the ending of this relationship and I feel like you've there's an energy here of wanting to get this back together again to heal this relationship because I feel that one one of you or both of you feel that you need to that this relationship is strong and that it holds a lot of good karma or good fortune around this relationship from the past I feel and you're wanting to get the the ball rolling here to to make some positive change and there's a decision that needs to be made it may be with a current partner Sagittarius there's conflict around making this decision and you may be torn between two options as well and or torn about making this decision so Sagittarius I'm going to leave the general here it seems like seems like you've got a decision to make the energy I'm picking up here is that there is something you've held on to here for a really long time that needs to be let go of it appears to be something that's made you quite unhappy it may have been something you found out in the past about this person but I feel that there's something new coming in here or a renewal from the past where someone has someone is wanting forgiveness perhaps from a third party situation and I feel that they are wanting to move forward with you but there's this decision to be made about I think I'm picking it up as a current partner on 
what you want to do about this because I feel as your overall energy here you're just trying to move on to something that is a calmer period for you because I feel like you've gone through quite the stormy kind of relationships for the past uh, few years as your advice here it's saying that there's an opportunity around you that will allow you to heal to come out of this nightmare nightmare period here and, and get your, your confidence back get that uh, that fire sign energy back but I do feel that you're you're concerned here about a uh, the ending of a relationship so I'm going to leave it here for the general and if you would like to join me in the comprehensive reading I'll be pulling out a lot more cards I'll find out who's coming in here whether this is someone new or whether it's a, a past love that's returning I'm also going to see what's going to happen with your current partner here Sagittarius to see uh, what decision you're going to make uh, regarding this because I feel you have the choice here between two people so I hope that you join me there. The link is below in the descriptions box and that's going to be the August extended reading on my Vimeo channel. So I wish you all the best with this Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, please stay tuned. I'll let you know how to contact me. My email is gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thank you again Sagittarius. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address gypsyinsights at gmail.com I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.